my channel again or the family channel I've got another unboxing for you today, today and I think this is also from the same store that I bought my first paintings from the Alibaba on Alibaba and not on Aliexpress so but let's try and see if they are what I think they are and if they are they're sent pretty quick because I ordered them not long ago so let's just have a look and see if they are what I think they are this time they have put them into bubble wrap um, and they seem to have fared a bit better through uh, through China mail than or transport than the other times but let's see oh, I'm like ripping into it and they really pack them well so they're packed with uh, tape and bubble wrap so they have been had a bit of they have been bent a bit here but nothing like last time and there's nothing on this one yeah it is of aliexpress oh i'm so excited oh not aliexpress so this one as you can see they put the number here so it's mg 450 lovely girl and it's a 56 times 66 centimeters canvas and let's try and see again it's on the velvet one there's a bit of tape stuck here um, oh that's really nice this time again it's been uh, it's been through uh, <laughs> through channel transport but it isn't as bad as last time that I unwrapped them uh, so but this time they've just put it into so let's see if I can get it out without problem so it seems to fold it out really nice oh this is also a lovely one so um there's a bit of creasing in it again but i think that i'm uh, just going to as i said last time iron it out um i don't i don't know if you can see it but they do pick up a lot more dust and dirt and this is from my table i just i perhaps i need to clean uh, uh, but I, I don't know if you can see it but it's got that velvet background and it's more like a cloth, a piece of cloth than a canvas. It's really nice. Um, and that's why I don't really worry about the creases because I think that they are going to come out really nice. Um, so I'm just going to just put it here. What you have to expect when you get these canvases is that um, there are no inventory sheets with them. Um, I think these are made for the Chinese market and I don't think that they care about inventory sheets. Um, so, uh, or it is also made for seller. So, um, so perhaps it's expected from the seller that they're going to make their own inventory sheet. But what's really nice about this canvas, I don't know, I think you can see it, but there is on both sides here, there is um, a chart here, a color chart, and there's also one up here. So you're able to, to see it and there's a thumbnail here. I think that seen from the back side it's mostly outside the painting that all the creases are so I, I just think that it's going to be really nice when it's laid out and she's really gorgeous she's standing on a balcony looking into the forest in her really nice beautiful dress and um, 
to use like yeah standing there and I think um, I think here that the that the symbols are really clear as well so I think they are nice too I'm really looking forward to work on these canvases just to see if there are if there's differences they've put some sort of uh, sort of glitter on the canvas as well i can just show you so they're glittery um so but it seems uh, to me they seem to be really nicely proportioned and uh, the picture is really nicely laid out so i i don't think i'm going to fumble anymore with this because I just think that it needs to relax a bit and then uh, I think it's going to be all right. So, oh no, I'm just ruining this one now. So yeah, um, so let's just take a look at the drills for it. So there, here's the drills, all the drills are in here. I'm just judging from the size of the canvas and the amount of drills, I don't think I'm going to run short of drills. I think there's plenty in these uh, bags. So I, I only count the colors. If you're interested, you can, and you want to buy this and you want the inventory sheet, I would go ahead and contact them, but judging from this, I'm not that nervous about it. So there's a lot of greens, colors. It's like a fall painting, so a lot of different green colors, some blues for the sky, and grays for the balcony, some blacks. And what I really like about this is that these bags are really crisp. They're like just like new bags, they're not dirty or dusty or anything. And here you got a free ten with eight hundred drills in it, I think. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to write below if there's something missing from uh, from the lovely girl inventory. But um, judging from this, and as you can see, they are a bit creased. Um, but as I said. Last time when I unboxed this one, I weren't that um, worried about it because I just think that it's like it's like relaxing itself after a while and just coming, yeah, straightening itself out, sort of. I don't know how to explain it. Um, so the creases are getting less and less and less. And I think the more you work with it, the more flat it goes. Already it's uh, gone a bit more flat. And from what I can tell, there's no bubbles because they've laid down the... Uh, they've laid down the, uh, the glue directly onto the canvas. They haven't used that, uh, that uh, white uh, opaque cover they normally use with the glaze. Uh, with the blue so as you can already see trans yeah see now it's almost laying flat so again I don't think it's uh, something to worry about these creases are just yeah they're just air bubbles so I'm able to press them down so yeah um, I'm, I'm I don't know how they are to work on I am a bit it's um it's going to be uh, quite nice to try and work on them and and see but this is one that I have to finish my uh, my last Christmas painting and then I'm going to work on the first one I bought the girl the queen uh, which we agreed upon which would be the nicest to work upon so so yeah that's the first one just going to lay that one aside and let's take the next one 
Oh, this one is really, that one I'm really happy about. This one is, uh, is a small deer. Um, it's called the fawn. 46 times 56 centimeters. Let's dig into that one. That, but this box hasn't been as bad decreased as the, as the other one. So I think this is probably going to be really crisp. Check out. Here's the drills. Oh yeah, and the the um, toolkit is really plain from them. There's no excess in it. Just a placer and a chunk of wax and bags and a small green boat. So nothing to get really excited about. But look at this canvas. Oh, that's good. Mm. Here you've got it really immaculate. Oh, it's good. Look at that one. So here's, yeah, you can see how it's supposed to look from what, from the other ones that I get. Um, but uh, yeah, beautiful. And I really like this deer who's just standing up or glaring into the camera. You can see it here. Here's the picture of it. And here's the inventory sheet. Oh yeah, it's not an inventory sheet, the chart, color chart. And again, on both sizes, I, sides, I really like that one. And I don't know if you can see it, but they're really good at placing the, the glue. It's just going a bit up over the, the painting, but just with a small touch. Really nicely done. So let's just see. And it's nice and sticky. I don't think I'm going to touch this one as much because I can just feel it. It's going. It's just laying itself down. Um, so I think the more I fumble with it, the more creases I tend to get. I probably think. So let's just see what happens if I lift this carefully and place it down again. coming down so like this I'm just able to press out air so they're just air bubbles in it so here air bubbles again and let's just take the other side off immaculate really nice Perfect. Perhaps you shouldn't order the big ones. It's just me who likes the big canvases. <laughs> but as you can see from here, there are some small ones. But as you can see, when I just straighten it out and lay it completely flat. And this again, the air bubbles. So you're able to press them out. I like this canvas. Really, really like it a lot. So I'm completely flat now. And I, was, I don't know if you can see it, but as I was talking about this glitter in the canvas, for me it doesn't matter, uh, because I always cut this off and uh, I choose squares. So the glitter is just for the fun, um, it's going to be covered. But I don't know if you can see that the grid lines here are, um, are white, so they're pretty pretty difficult to see but I think that's really a nice thing because if you got some holes um, they're not going to be as visible if you got holes in the white field they're not going to be as visible as if it was uh, it was uh, with black grid lines I, I if you have um, if you have a bad or not bad but you're not your eyes isn't uh, as, good, as good as they were. I think this canvas could be be pose a bit of a challenge. But again, uh, from here, just from where I'm standing, I can easily see the canvas and I can easily see the numbers. Um, so I think with the light part under and so on, there's no problems in it. Again, the colors, no inventory sheet. Um, but they are DMC coats, so 
that's the good thing. And um, again, really beautiful colors, really beautiful greens and brown and pinks, some white. Oh, they're gorgeous, these ones. And some nice big bags. So, just going to spread it out so you can see on your own. So, there are these really light colors. I think it's going to turn out beautiful, this painting as well. And I think my girls, uh, my queen and my new girl here also are going to go well together. So, oh, I'm really, I really love this company. Uh, but let's try and do one of them before posing or judging them completely. Uh, again, this one is a bit more creased. I don't think it's going to be a problem. You can just iron it out also if you want to. Um, it's already relaxing much more. I would have been more concerned if it had, had been an ordinary uh, painting. But um, they just seem to be much more able to to fold themselves out and the creases seem to be gone so uh, yeah i think they're going to look really nice both of them so yeah um two paintings of uh, a store on alibaba not aliexpress you need to contact them themselves you 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 need to contact them yourself if you want. I'm going to link them below. And you need to negotiate price with them and you need to negotiate freight costs. Be aware, <laughs> they always come out and say that they have to charge, that they want to send it by courier. And one thing is, yeah, I save on the on the courier cost and this is what you get. You get a bit of a creased canvas and you get some banged up boxes you wouldn't get that if, if it was shipped by dhl or oops or some some other courier company um so there's pros and cons by doing that but um try and have a talk to you to them yourself if you are interested in trying this store uh, yeah and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and uh, yeah give me a thumbs up if you like the uh, the video and if you like the paintings i'm uh, going to finish my uh, other painting that i'm doing now and then i'm going to do inventory of the queen one from the store and then we can start look at the quality of the drills and so on so yeah uh again have a really nice day and uh and yeah, if we don't talk to each other before Christmas, Happy Christmas or yeah, and uh, Happy New Year and uh, see you in my next video. Bye. Hi, just another clip, uh, a cliffhanger, <laughs> you can call it. Um, I just uh, took this uh, painting and uh, and ironed it very briefly just to see how it would flatten us and as you can recall it was really curled but they flatten up really nicely so i'm really pleased uh, this is at the back there still are some small creases but they are when you go into to look at those small creases they are due to um uh, the glue and uh, when you just work with your fingers on top of the glue, they on they uh, they disappear. So it's just the glue which uh, does this. So I can just I can just wrap it away. So I think it's going to be really good this painting. So yeah, but again, bye and uh, thanks for watching. I hope it could inspire you as well. I really like her. I hope she's going to turn out really nice. Bye for now.